the photographer's model. If it's true that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, then the choice of a model clearly reflects the artist's set of aesthetic standards. Every photographer finds subjects that match their unique vision, and the relationship between model and photographer is key to the creation of memorable images. Some models, however, are harder to capture on film than others, and photographer Jim Cook goes after some of the toughest. All right. Turn around. All right. And there's something back there on that post. Oh, that's that light. Oh, darn it. She just put slobber all over her side. Can you get close enough to wipe that off of her, Jim? Past the center. OK, back up, Rob, and let her come almost there. OK, now turn her around. Now turn her around. And then maybe she'll stop more in the center, OK? Start, stop. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Hoo, good. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, yeah. OK. Hold her right there. There's other photographers uh, that do livestock, but a lot of them seem to have, uh, they're into maybe doing just one thing, and they do it very, very, very well. And, uh, but I think they hire me because I'm, I'm more creative in, in uh, posing the cattle, uh, shooting them out in the open uh, without any halter on them or, or whatever, pasture shots, uh, unique shots of bulls that, that um, well, w when I do a bull, sh a, a bull shoot, okay, I try to create something and catch the image of the bull that they want to have. And so when they advertise it and people see that picture, they're going to always remember that bull, you know. And I try to make him almost bigger than life sometimes. Alfred Hitchcock said actors are cattle. Jim Cook believes quite the reverse, and therefore it's no surprise that it takes three stylists to create the proper look for the portrait. This show makes her look a little taller, too, won't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, when you do calves, it makes them look like they're about five inches taller when you take two inches of hair off their belly. Oh, yeah, they're under here. It's really long. Yeah. yeah. Worst thing in the world is have the shot all set up and I mean, you know, really looking good and then he kicks it a fly on his belly or something like that or shakes his head and they just keep, it flies, little thing, any little thing can just absolutely uh, ruin a picture and, and that's why it just takes so darn long. There's so many things that have to, it's, it's so unlike a studio setup where you can just have all your lighting consistent and everything, you know, and, and you just, but with with cattle, there's something different all the time, and um, it it gets to be really really frustrating. But then after a while, you just learn patience and and you just wait wait them out. That's the only thing you can do. What what he'll do is he'll will get her set up, and then he'll slip this halter off her head. She's real good, Jim. She's real good. Okay. Now, slip the halter off her head. Keep her attention. Now, one person, keep her attention, all right? Just one person. Go back right over there where, where you were, OK? And you stay right there, OK? You can move in. You can come in. <sighs> Boy, she's just about there. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Great. No, her, head, her, her head's too high in the air. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. Good. Oh! All right. <laughs>